big tune. They don't wanna see me winning. They wanna see me in the penitentiary. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel. So today I filmed this soft peachy but yet still smoky look for you guys. It's very appropriate for spring. The palettes that I featured in this video today was the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and also the Morphe Copper Spice palette. I had a lot of fun creating this look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video and keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. First I applied my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer all over my face to prevent any dryness or dullness. This product keeps my face so nice and hydrated. Then I took my Hourglass Veil Primer and put that all over my face to smooth and fill in any of the pores. Next I used my Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer and I applied that in my T-zone. After that, I took my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange and I used that as a corrector. So I put that under my eyes, around my mouth, and a little pimple that I had. So this corrector basically covers up any of my dark circles, all my imperfections on my face that I don't want peeking through my makeup. You just want to blend that out nice and smoothly and evenly. Next I used my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I applied that all over my eyes as an eyeshadow base. Then I took my Copper Spice Palette by Morphe and I used that orange shade as my transition shade. So I really wanted to build that color up for all the other shades. Then I took my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, the color Pure Ray, and I applied that under that shade as my crease color. After that, I took the color Summer Yum and applied that back into my crease just to build up the colors. Then I took Canned Peach to blend all those colors together. Next, I used Peach Pit and applied that in my crease but focused it mainly on the outer edge of my eyes to create a winged effect. Then I went back with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to cut my crease. Then I applied Georgia from the Sweet Peach Palette onto my lids. Then I went back with Peach Pit just to blend out any of the harsh lines. After that, I went back into my Copper Spice Palette and applied those two light peachy shades under my brow bone. Then I applied my beautiful Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Samantha. For my face, I mixed the Sheer Glow Foundation and the All Day Luminous Foundation by NARS to give myself a nice, glowy, beautiful coverage. I used a dual fiber brush to blend this in instead of a beauty blender because I like how the dual fiber brush gives me a nice airbrush finish. Then I used my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the color Cafe as my highlight base. So I applied that under my eyes, my forehead, my chin, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Then I applied the color Chestnut right on top of the places where I applied the other concealer to brighten up my highlight. I mixed the two together because I liked the color that it gave me. It wasn't too dark and it wasn't too light. Then I use my beauty blender to blend that all out. You know, you want your beauty bl blender damp and clean. I really love my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers, but this one was so nice. Like, it didn't crease up all day. It stayed right there. After that, I used my Lancome Tint Edol foundation stick to cream contour. I love this foundation stick, guys. I used to use the Bobbi Brown, but this one is so nice. It blends out so smoothly. So 
so when you're blending out your contour you want to blend it upwards so it defines your face more Then I took my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and set all the places where I highlighted. So basically this method that I'm doing is called baking. After that I took my Mary Kay foundation in bronze 5 to set and bronze up my cream contour. You guys know this is my favorite product of all time, my MAC Skin Finish in Deep Dark. I use this to blend all the colors on my face together so everything looks nice and flawless. After that I went back in this peach pit and applied that under my lash line. Then I took my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and applied that to my bottom lashes. For blush I used the Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick in Cranberry. Now for the highlight, you know, I used my Topaz by Becca. You guys know I had to double it up, so I took Opal by Becca and applied that right on top of Topaz. For my lips, I used the NYX Lip Liner in brown to outline my lips. And then I took my MAC Cosmetics Velvet Teddy to fill it in. I used my Viva Glam number no. 2 lipstick by MAC just in the inner parts of my lips. I wasn't feeling my NYX lip liner so I took my MAC lip liner in Chestnut. To set my face I used the NYX setting spray in MAC. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any suggestions of what video you want to see next, you could definitely leave it in the comment section down below. Just let me know like what you want to see, interact with me, and follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Duh! You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy drippin' swag goo. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy drippin' swag goo. Oh.